Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are finally installing the crossbars onto the Forerunner. So the original video that I did was asking you all what type of roof rack I should do. Uh, a lot of good, positive stuff came from that video. A lot of different roof racks and everything. But I ended up going with LFD for two reasons. One, because if I do want to do a roof rack in the future, all I have to do now is just buy the rails. So instead of having these roof rails, I could do like seven eighths or whatever and go all the way down basically the whole uh, roof of the Forerunner and then still use these crossbars. So it'll be cheaper kind of in the uh, long run. So this is how they packaged it. Uh, nice reinforcements right here, all uh, foam and everything. Everything was up off of the uh, cardboard. And then you have your included hardware right here. Okay, and here they are out of the box. So you can see endless possibilities for mounting options up here. Uh, for me, I'm not really gonna ever have a rooftop tent up there, but it's something, you know, if I have a Pelican case up there or paddle boards because they're nice and thin. Also, like uh, other modular roof rails, you can't really do that because they're so thick. These ones are nice and thin for like a paddle board rack or any type of uh, canoes or I don't know, whatever you want. But that's why I went with these ones. Uh, they're nice and powder coated black straight from them. And each one of these, these are the steel ones. They have aluminum versions as well, but these are the steel and each bar is basically uh, $79. And here's basically the instructions. I'll be showing you guys how to uh, install it as well, but it comes with instructions. There's their phone number. Guys, the customer service with them has been insane. Uh, it's been really, really nice. I didn't know what the lead time was gonna be, so I actually emailed the owner and said, hey, I ordered it on Black Friday and uh, they haven't come here yet. Is there any sort of uh, lead time on it? Because I didn't see it on your site. And the guy emailed me back and he said, oh yeah, they just got done with powder coat. Do you need them sooner? I can rush it out to you. I was like, oh no, no worries. But uh, so the customer service, and I've heard it from a lot of other people, has been really good with the company. Uh, sticker and all nicely packaged and everything. I mean, it's, it's honestly foolproof. And they even include the Allen wrench for you too. So you don't have to go purchase any tools. Uh, they provide everything for you, which is super awesome. So let's go ahead and get these installed. Uh, I'm gonna be installing it with the logo facing the front of my vehicle. And uh, basically, since I have four, I'm just gonna put one as far forward as possible, the back one as far back as possible, and then just even these two out in the middle. All right, so the reason why I have a towel on one side is because I'm doing this all by myself. And uh, essentially what you're gonna do is you're going to lay the crossbar across your vehicle, like so, and then just slide it in between the rails until it finds that stopping point in between the two. So as you can see right there, you want those little cutouts to basically just line up. So then when you have your rack in a line like this, just kind of want it to align perfectly. You take your supplied hardware as is, just kind of slide it in here like this and put it on. That's it. So obviously you're going to tighten it, but you want it to be bolt, lock washer, regular washer, and then the T-nut in the back. So by having it together, it'll allow the T-nut to kind of sit vertically like this. That way it latches into place. And then all you have to do is just tighten it up. So install it on all four corners of uh, each roof rail and you can leave it loose to adjust your roof rail, but and then that one's there like that. Perfect. So then put the bar into position if you need it. Mine's a little more thick because I painted my roof rails, but slide that in position like so. And the, the back of the T-nut honestly kind of just like falls into place, but. So now since all four are on, I'm gonna slide the roof rail to where I want it, which is at the very, very back. All right, and then when it's just in line, just go ahead and take the supplied Allen wrench and just go ahead and tighten it. And like I said, make sure the Tina is vertical. That way it's holding against your stock railing system right here. And that's it. So obviously it's not always secure because I still have to do the other three, but that's all you have to do to install it.
Man, that is, that is freaking on there. Oh man, that's amazing. Yeah. The only thing making sound actually is the, the stock roof rail. And then this just wanting to shift just a tad, but man, that is uh, And just like that, it's on guys and uh, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty solid. So that was super easy, uh, minus messing around with my cameras and everything. I did that by myself. Uh, very, very easy, the way that they go about it with those T-nuts and everything, just making sure that everything just slides into place. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. I, I don't know, stuff, stuff from good companies make me happy. I, I don't know why, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of time-lapse doing the rest. Everything is the exact same. So I'm just gonna put the front one or the fourth one in the very front and then just kind of even them out uh, the last two, but it looks super good. And it's, and it's not really raised up that high. I mean, maybe half an inch, but like I said, I like that it's raised up high because you have all this room underneath to attach stuff. Like if you want to attach max traps or something like that, you just get up under there, do the bolt, no problem. All right, guys, and it is done. I need to clean up just a little bit of uh, stickiness from the packaging, but other than that, I could not be happier. It took 41 minutes to install, and I'll put the timestamps right here because I posted it on Instagram. And yeah, about 41 minutes, so that's insane, and that's with messing with cameras and trying to do it for YouTube, so. That was pretty quick. It's probably a 30 minute install. And especially if you only got one or two crossbars, it's not that uh, long of an install at all. So I'll show you guys how low profile it actually is. And it, it only maybe goes up like half an inch or so. But stepping back, you know, it's as if you just had the Forerunner roof rails on it, but instead you have four or however many you want to buy, but you can legit attach specific things to this just with easy nut and bolt, you know? Uh, you don't have to get bungees or Anything like that that you would have to do with the Forerunner roof rail. And now what I do like about it is you have all this room underneath to attach whatever you want. And also you don't lose cleaning the top of your car. So like if you like to actually clean your car, you know, some people don't, that's whatever. But for me, I like to keep my vehicles nice and clean and uh, it makes it easy. So you could actually wash still the roof of your vehicle. Also, each bar came with five bolts and uh, T-nuts, so if one rusts out over time or something like that, it's easily uh, replaceable. But I will be keeping you guys updated with these, uh, like wind noise, functionality of them, and uh, everything like that. So, But like I said, I'm in Florida, so I don't really have a lot to put up here, but I will be putting paddle boards and stuff up here or uh, Pelican cases and stuff like that. And I've just really needed a roof rack because I didn't elect to go with the Toyota crossbars because they were so expensive and not functional when I got four for less than the price that Toyota would have sent me, would have sold me them for. So that's why I went with these. Uh, I'm not gonna have a whole, whole bunch up here, but I will keep you guys updated. Eventually get an awning if I get a beach permit, that would be sweet, so an awning would be up here. But no rooftop tent or anything like that because, I don't know, that, that's not bashing people with rooftop tents because obviously they do more with their Forerunner than I admittedly do. I mean, I off-road it as much as I can in Florida, um, for where I am in Florida, I should say, but, I don't know. Rooftop tents are like two grand, and if I'm gonna spend two grand, I'm gonna get a little trailer or pop-up trailer or something for this that me and my wife can really enjoy. But uh, I don't know. So I, personally for me, if you're looking for me to install a rooftop tent, unless someone gives it to me for free, I mean, yeah, sure, and then I'll do a giveaway with it, I don't know. But I, I won't be installing one on this, but I am super stoked for these rails, guys. They're very easy to install. I'll leave all of LFD's information down in the description. Another legitimate happy review from me because I not only bought these, but I'm very, very happy with the product. So I finally have a railing system on this thing. So I don't have to keep putting the seats down and putting crap in it. I could just throw it on the roof of the vehicle. So if this video was helpful for you guys, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later.